thank y'all for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Lindsey Graham being booed by Republicans during a rally in his own state of South Carolina. Why? Well, because the audience sees him as not adequately loyal to Donald Trump and because the only requirement in the GOP in 2023 is absolute fealty to the cult leader, that means that Lindsey Graham is now on their shit list. And before I go any further, I would be remiss not to bring up a certain tweet. Back in 2016, one Lindsey Graham tweeted, if we nominate Trump, we will get destroyed and we will deserve it. Cut to, it is seven years later, the Republicans did nominate Trump, and there's Lindsey Graham himself on the receiving end of an avalanche of booze from his own party in his own state. One might even say that Lindsey Graham is getting destroyed. One might say the entire Republican Party has been destroyed. But one thing is certain, they certainly do deserve it. What's amazing too is that for a party whose entire brand is projecting strength, it really does go to show just how weak all of these Republicans are, but especially Lindsey Graham. This is a guy who clearly was critical of Trump, only to recognize that his own popularity would depend upon his fealty to the guy. And so all of these purported principles and values and positions went right out the window in their desperation to count 
touted Trump. The idea that these Republicans are strong is an absolute joke, and a pretty lame one at that. If these people were any more malleable, they would be rubber bands. And look, is Lindsey Graham getting booed on stage some important political moment of our time? Not really. It's mostly just entertainment for those of us who've been telling Lindsey Graham for the better part of a decade that he is a sellout, and this will come back to bite him. But I will take this opportunity, while we're talking about Lindsey Graham selling out his party to Trump, to highlight the difference in what this country got when Donald Trump was the president versus what we've got now with Joe Biden. When Trump was in office and had full control of government, the Republicans passed exactly one major legislative priority, a tax cut for millionaires and billionaires. Despite all of that time wailing about immigration and crime and more and more, they used all of their political capital to make sure their donors paid a lower tax rate. That's all. Add that to the most jobs lost in a single term, the unemployment rate surging, the stock market sinking, and you've got the makings of a catastrophically bad presidency, and the Republicans were in full control. Meanwhile, look at what the Democrats got done in just two years in office. They passed the American Rescue Plan, they passed the Infrastructure Package, upgrading our nation's infrastructure for the first time in our lifetimes. They passed the first gun safety bill in 30 years, they passed the CHIPS Act, which has led to a boom in American manufacturing, unlike anything we've seen in modern American history, they passed the PACT Act, giving healthcare to sick veterans, they passed the Inflation Reduction Act, allocating record funding to combating climate change, allowing the government to negotiate lower drug prices, and capping out-of-pocket healthcare costs for seniors. They brought the cost of insulin down to $35 a month, they created 13.1 million jobs with a 50-year low unemployment rate, including a record low unemployment rate for black Americans. These are real-life, tangible accomplishments that impact every single American. The fact is that there is a reason that Republicans have to pander to Trump. He is a demagogue, and Republicans need a demagogue because they have no platform to run on. What are they going to run on? Denying the reality of climate change? Stripping women of abortion rights? Pandering to fossil fuel companies? Flooding the streets with more AR-15s? What part of that platform is popular enough to win an election on? They needed a master of misdirection, someone who can lie and obfuscate the truth so skillfully and shamelessly that they don't have to focus on an agenda, and that's what Donald Trump is to them. He is a con man, and what the GOP needed is a con man. And the Lindsey Grahams of the party were happy to oblige, even if not fully, but enough, because he doesn't lead with his values or integrity or dignity, he leads with exactly what Trump leads with, a desire to hold on to power by any means necessary. And if that means hitching his wagon to a cult leader who views his disciples as disposable, then that's what he'll do. And what you're left with is the humiliation that is Lindsey Graham being booed by the very people he sold himself out for. All I can say is I hope it was worth it, because what we just witnessed is the physical manifestation of Lindsey Graham's loss of dignity for all to see. Before you go, I need some help. Please subscribe to the channel and do your part to help grow the progressive media ecosystem. I don't do sponsorships or paid ads, I won't ask for money, but just subscribing to this channel goes a really long way and it helps get the message out to more people. The subscribe button is right here on the screen. You can also subscribe to my Spanish language channel, which I made to reach those crucial Spanish speaking voters. That link is on the screen too. And finally, if you want to listen to my audio podcast, you can follow that link as well. Thanks so much for watching.